MAI course encourages the use of a calculator. A lot of what we're going to do is functions and modeling. And what we've actually created in that previous section was um, a quadratic model. Um, and we can graph these. We could use the solver, but let's, let's just graph it and see what happens, okay? Because this would be something we come back to in the future. So uh, we need to input the first function. The first function was 4, uh, sorry, 4n squared, but here we need to write it as x squared, uh, and then we're going to minus 24x. So we're expecting a u-shaped curve, and then our second function was it needs to be greater than 200. So let's make it equal to 200. No red line appears. Right, menu. Uh, we will spend a lot of time working with this, okay? So we're really interested in 0 up to 10 because we've already seen it. Uh, actually, let's go up to 100 on the x value. Uh, y minimum. Well, it needs to pass 100. So let's go for 0 up to, uh, oh no, it's going to pass 200. And let's go up to 250, okay? Um, right, so here is our function, and here is the red line. So if we do menu, analyze graph, intersection, we can find that the solution is, so when we have 10.7 terms, we get the value 200. So the first value, the least number of terms, that must be added to the series or turn some greater than 100 is 11. We need to add 11 terms in order to do this. 